This video will discuss the trigeminal nerve. We will not discuss the innervation associated with V1 or the ophthalmic division during this video. Using maxillary and mandibular models, we will draw the innervation of the trigeminal nerve. Let's first take a look at V2 or the maxillary division. V2 or the maxillary division runs from a posterior to anterior direction. The ending of V2 or the maxillary division is called the infraorbital nerve. The infraorbital nerve exits the infraorbital foramen. The first branch off V2 is the posterior superior alveolar nerve. The posterior superior alveolar nerve, or PSA, supplies sensory innervation from the maxillary third molar, the maxillary second molar, the distal buccal root and palatal root of the maxillary first molar. It also supplies sensory innervation from the buccal tissues associated with these teeth. The middle superior alveolar nerve, or MSA, supplies sensory innervation from the mesial buccal root of the maxillary first molar, the maxillary second premolar, and the two roots associated with the maxillary first premolar. It also provides sensory innervation from the buccal tissues associated with these teeth. The anterior superior alveolar nerve, or ASA, provides sensory innervation from the maxillary canine, the maxillary lateral, and maxillary central incisors. It will also provide sensory innervation from the facial tissues associated with these teeth. The greater palatine foramen is an opening in the bone in the posterior maxilla. The greater palatine nerve exits the greater palatine foramen. The greater palatine nerve provides sensory innervation from the palatal tissues associated with the posterior teeth. The incisive foramen is an opening in the anterior portion of the hard palate. The nasopalatine nerve exits the incisive foramen. The nasopalatine nerve provides sensory innervation from the palatal tissues associated with the anterior teeth. Let's now take a look at the innervation associated with V3 or the mandibular division. We will only look at the innervation associated with the teeth and oral tissues. The inferior alveolar nerve is a sensory nerve that provides innervation from all the mandibular teeth in a given quadrant. The inferior alveolar nerve does not provide sensory innervation from any soft tissues. The lingual nerve provides sensory innervation from the gingival tissues associated with the mandibular teeth. The lingual nerve also provides sensory innervation from the sides of the tongue. Looking at the buccal aspect of the mandible, we see that the long buccal nerve provides sensory innervation from the gingival tissues associated with the mandibular molars. The mental foramen is an opening in the bone that exists between the mandibular premolars. The mental nerve will provide sensory innervation from the gingival tissues associated with the mandibular premolars and the facial tissues associated with the anterior teeth and mandibular arch. This concludes the video on the trigeminal nerve.